Good afternoon, everyone. The Saturn-Jupiter conjunction just a few days away. And I'm wondering, with such limited air traffic, how all this is stacking up like a tic-tac-toe board in my skies. Tasmania snow the second day of summer in Australia. They call it missing out on a heat wave over the weekend. Historic missed out on a heat wave snowfall. Europe, these guys missed out on the heat wave too. And perhaps it's because of the sunspots. Are you ready for the super flare? It's going to be a biggie. As Americans seek economic protection after the most controversial election in U.S. history, year to date in 2020 alone, gold is up 30% and silver rising more than 50%. And now we're entering a new year facing economic realities of a global economic crisis caused by COVID and political reactions. Patriot Gold Group has the No Fee for Life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold or physical silver. And the knowledge that Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer five years in a row from 2016 to present. To find more information, the link's in the description box below. And now on with the video. And easily seen in the night skies. I saw this myself tonight. Saturn and Jupiter just after sunset looking in the direct west. It'll be the closest that the two planets have been on December 21st during the solstice since 1226 AD. Marking the beginning of a new age into the first minute of the first degree of arc through Aquarius. Perhaps that's one of the reasons that so many things are changing Sunspots could be another as we're entering in the Grand Solar Minimum, a new article out predicting a massive solar cycle coming up. That's to be seen. This one has started off incredibly low and incredibly slow. But these new images of the granules on the sun, unbelievable clarity on this. And it almost looks like a phoenix rising out at that 12 o'clock position. These are some of the highest resolution images of sunspots ever taken from satellite to date, I encourage you to take a look. I linked that in the description box below. They're going real time, second by second now, on the movements of the magnetic fields. Perhaps another change is all of these strange lines in the sky. Air travel has taken such a gargantuan hit that they're laying off hundreds of thousands of employees across the planet in different airlines, different continents. Yet, how could there be there's so much air travel stacking up on top of each other? right here in perfect parallel lines. And then as it continues through the morning, I thought, wow, look at all the air traffic, and we're not even in a major city. I'm in the countryside. And I look at this stacking up saying, who is playing tic-tac-toe in the sky? And even another following day, beautiful weather in the morning, it starts blue, and then start to see the lines stacking up everywhere and give it a couple hours. And even these remote areas, look at the road I drive down to go to my property. And this is what happens after a few hours. Maybe this is a causation of all the changes. Maybe it's a combination of magnetic influences from the planets onto our sun, our sun changing into a grand solar minimum, and all of this metal particulate in the skies could be a combo, could be a percentage, could be all, could be none. Bringing you down to Australia, Hobart, Tasmania, affectionately known as Tassie, which woke up to snow on the second day of summer. Now, of course, they have to report on this because it's in the capital of Tasmania. So how did they frame it? What was the reference? Tasmania missed out on the heat wave over the weekend. This is how they're framing near record snow and snowing in summer, missing out on the heat wave. Mount Wellington and Hobart blanketed in, missed out on the heat wave. And other images around the blogosphere of locations missing out on the heat wave in Tasmania. I mean, how far can you go? Because remember last year, they talked about limited heat in the UK. And here we go, more limited heat and missing out on a heat wave where I might need to put salt on the roads to drive. And then somewhere in the article near the bottom, 2020 is the sixth warmest spring on record. And you missed out on the heat wave. So I don't know what this framing of the article is all about. Images are stunning. Videos are great. I linked everything in the description box below because snow was supposed to be a thing of the past, but now it's snowing in summer in the Southern Hemisphere. 
But you see how the reference is to get you to believe. Like after I read that article, I go, whoa, it's really hot down there. But then it was all about the snow. So you have very cleverly written about that. But where they're also missing out on the heat wave and where you would expect there to be massive snows dumping, Europe. It's going into winter. I wouldn't expect snows in summer in the southern hemisphere. Huh. I would expect snow in the northern hemisphere. Not this much, not this early, though, in the higher elevations of Europe. What is that, four meters? For those of you in the States, 13 feet. That's a road in that chasm there. Italy, France, Switzerland, Slovenia also included in this. And the snow dumping up to two feet down in Algeria and Morocco. Now, these guys right here, sitting down, missing out on the heat wave, are in a feverish pitch to remove snow as hundreds of Structures have collapsed already due to the snow load being far more than wood could handle. There's an all-out call for emergency help to clear roofs because, as you can see, the roads are blocked. They can't get anybody in. And now it's truly up to the communities to start helping each other clear the roofs to avoid more cave-ins. This is record-breaking snowfall. Austria. Now, ski resorts, that's why they're ski resorts. They get a lot of snow. But when it's this far over, breaking all records and the wow factor is stupendously above anything they've ever seen, ever. Again, we're only going back 150 years. So if we went back through the 10,000-year record, what would you see? Maybe something a little different. But beyond exceptional, at ski resorts with creaking roof beams, this is something truly unprecedented here. Burying towns across the mountains. In Pragraten here in Austria, deep snows. And then we go over to Piedmont, which we've seen the last two years getting incredible snows in Italy. Seems like the pressure system setting up to dump an enormous amount of snow. Apparently, this person was driving and missed out on the heat wave too. And then suddenly, look at all the snow on top of the vehicle. Incredible. The amount of snow that's fallen down. Record snows. And truly, as we look forward into 2021 with the crop losses, the increasing food prices, the weather bending and shattering of what we know is normal, taking us back into the 500, 1,000, 3,000 year storm frequency. And this kind of sums it up right here where we are. Unless we use our minds to bend the fabric of reality and take our world back. So how prepared are you for such gargantuan out of season weather events? If you were trapped in your home for a few days, how much food do you have? The two-week or the four-week emergency food supply, My Patriot Supply and Adapt 2030. Give yourself a peace of mind to know that you have some food in your home so you can ride out the chaotic first few days of every emergency and be able to help others instead of struggling for your basic needs. That link's in the description box below. It's a great way to support the channel. I thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of our video, and I'll see you next time.